Hey guys, it's Lyra here. Welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm showcasing another Forsaken weapon. And this weapon is going to be the Thin Line. Now, this is a slow rate of fire hand cannon. And I'm pretty sure all of the hand cannons are 3-tap. So, these type of hand cannons have been left behind in the meta. But, who knows? I always liked them before. Hopefully, I'll like them right now. And, yeah, let's see how this one performs. Because I got killed by this in Crucible in my last video. For those who remember. Uh, yeah, this is the weapon. I actually got it recently. So, I decided to make a weapon review on it. Or, sorry, a PvP review. Because if I call it a weapon review, people get mad, so yeah. Reviews suck! Even if I call it a PvP gameplay review, people get mad, so I don't know why. Anyway, the description reads, sometimes you forget which side you're on. By the way, huge spoiler warning, so yeah, I skip like 20 or 30 seconds. If you guys don't want any spoilers if you haven't played the campaign yet. For those who actually played the campaign and the storyline, this is actually a reference to the ending, so yeah. It's also got a lore tab here, so I have yet to read it, but you know. I'm not really into the lore right now. I'm Trying to get all the weapons before I can focus on lore and storyline. But yeah, it's not something I'm going to worry about just yet, so let's move on. So anyway, let's go over the perks. It's got aggressive frame, high damage, high recoil. It's got fast draw and true sight. Then it's got out of magazine. Don't even bother with that. It's got high caliber rounds. Definitely using high caliber rounds over out of magazine. It's got slide shot, which helps reload. It gives you two shots uh, every time you slide. And you can't really spam, which kind of sucks, but it's still good. Just like five second cooldown. And it also gives you a boost of range stability, so it's going to be really helpful. Uh, cause the magazine size and the reload speed is really low for this weapon, so hopefully I can use this to my advantage. Then it's got Dragonfly, which precision kills create an elemental damage explosion. So yeah, those are the perks. It's okay roll, but uh, I'm still looking for better rolls. Hopefully you guys get some god rolls for this weapon. If you do, let me know what rolls you have, cause I want to see what, what best possible rolls are. Cause yeah, this roll is not that good for PvP. It's got decently high range, definitely better range than any... 140 rate of fire hand cannon the stability handling and reload speed are really low and the magazine size isn't that high but it can three tap and it's got nine in the magazine so if you hit your shots that's three kills it's a reskin of the 10 paces for those who watched my 10 paces review or pvp showcase uh so yeah it's got a good shader on it how to see that actually looks pretty nice you can probably put any shader you want on this weapon to make it look good all right so this is the shader i chose well wow. looks okay i like it probably some better ones but i just like that look at that and yeah, let's get this review going. Go into PvP real quick. And uh, yeah, farm some people, farm some noobs. I expected it to have a lot of accuracy. So hopefully it does have accuracy. I've been having like a lot of like inventory and like postmaster issues lately. My vault is almost full. I've been having the like, consumable issues because my consumables are always full. Like my shaders are like, I delete a lot of these shaders, put space for it. Let's delete this real quick. I don't think that looks good. Like some of them don't even look good, but I'm having a lot of space issues like lately. I wanted to get the ascendant challenges done. But I couldn't get Tincture of Foils because they don't actually go to your Postmaster. My inventory was full, so I had to delete a bunch of stuff to actually get this, and I finally got it done. And yeah, I got a lot of treasure maps that I gotta get rid of. I don't even think they give you anything, but I just want to keep them, open them up for a video just in case. But yeah, I lost a lot of stuff. You couldn't even get Oracles or, or anything if your inventory was full. So that's why I wasn't getting any drops or anything like that. And it was really annoying. So yeah, I gotta fix all that stuff. I gotta get rid of these weapons and make a lot of weapon reviews today. What? He didn't- Oh, he's just laggy. Okay, I was like, what? Did he not die? I know, so I'm using arc because I need arc kills. So, yeah. Me. You're dying, dude. Sorry. No, come back here. You little scrub. Hey, headshots for days. Now they went to the head. I wonder if I could two tap, because I know some of them can two tap. But no one's gonna be running like 180 armor or 182 armor. So yeah, it probably can't two tap. Also, my accuracy and aim is gonna be really bad in this video because I'm not playing properly. I'm not playing in like my proper setup. Oh snap, you just got destroyed. You had a sidearm too. Alright, I gotta sit closely because I have a different setup today and I don't have a chair so I'm sitting like farther back than usual. So my aim might be affected in this video. Just, just a warning for you guys. But also the one thing I did remember is that you can actually two shot to the head and body or two body and one headshot. So it's gonna be really effective for this weapon. Let me try it. Get two bodies and for the head after. Oh these guys are dead. Look at this Graviton Lance user. Stop using that in Crucible! The meta's gone! Oh, 
Oh, did I two tap him? Nope. All right, try to get super kills right here. Like right there, perfect. I almost got triple damage. That would have been such a good triple. Damn, I didn't even get that kill either. Damn, I didn't get that kill either. I'm always late. Oh, someone's still here. Move so I can shoot him, please. Oh my goodness. Thanks, team. Thanks, level four. But guys, I'll try not to make excuses in this video. This video is excuse free. Oh wow, that was actually pretty nice combo. Oh wait, I can't two body. I can't two body and headshot. Wow, I really. Oh, hey, can you not? Did he kill him or no? Please tell me you killed him. Oh no. Oh, nice bait saber. Oh my goodness, he's the guy who's doing better than me in this game. Did he die? No! Oh, the teammate pushed me, man. Not again. I told you guys before and I'll say it again. My biggest pet peeve in Crucible is people that get in the way and push you. I just wish this weapon had more damage on it or something. Oh, I think it can two body, one headshot. That's cool. Better for people who don't have aim. Which is that's technically supposed to be better for like better players. Oh, sorry. Wrong way around. It's supposed to be better for noobs, but it's actually only good for skillful players in my opinion. Not a shield time, dude. Ah! Like, hurry up and die. Oh, I'm dead, dude. Slide here, get some ammo back. Come on. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Ah, this is just a bad game. This is not to do with the weapon itself. I feel like the last three videos I had, like the first game I had was just... Bad. Alright, 23 to KD. I had close to the most damage. So this guy was literally just shocking at everyone getting one hit kills. I was actually putting in damage, not getting the kill. There's a difference. By the teammate who was actually helping me, maybe that would have been different. Come on, man. I didn't get this weapon just for it to be bad. See, easy double kill. I mean, why did I say double kill? I'm dumb. Please die to that grenade. I need it. I need orbs. What? See, yeah, I got the kill. Double down. Damn, he's one shot. Hey, that was me. Yes! Yes! That was me. I got an assist on that. You're dying, dude. No, screw you. I'm, I'm, I'm killing you. You want to camp like that? Screw you. Streak is living. What? Oh, he's a shotgun warrior at its finest, dude. What the hell? Get ready to jump because I know he's going to be above me. Yeah, there you go. Hey. Oh, no. Yes, shield. The shield saved me. Hey, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. He's right under us. Yes, he died. Oh, no, the streak ends. God damn it, dude. What was I doing in that game? Like, what the hell was going on? Oh, I got a super. Let's go. Show, show this man. Ready for this? My name sucks. Come on, shoot with me! Why are you running? I'm dead. How many shotgun shots do you save up? Like, honestly. Typical hunter right there, just hiding behind walls. I told you. It's always the hunters. Never trust the hunter. Trust the liar, guys, but never trust the hunter. What in the lag? I think that was like I don't even care what anyone says. Go behind us. I gotta be wary. Like that guy right. How? How? What do you mean? This game doo doo. I like doo doo as well. Alright, that's it, buddy. Take a body your job. Hey, 
a There he is. He's dead. That's the guy with the bow. He's getting annoying. Dude, what? What? Oh my goodness. Run. I'm the super. Oh no, why'd I run? Damn it. But then again, I died, so I should have ran. Never mind. Even though I got like 34 kills, like it was... It was all like I would have got like a hundred that game. Okay, I'll stop. I'm pretty sure they had a group of two and a group of three, so like they still did good, but damn, like what the hell? And why am I always lagging? Oh wow, well, these guys are getting decimated, man. Like this is not even funny, dude. Lord of Wolves on me. Oh, that's a fusion rifle. Wow. I thought it was Lord of Wolves, but apparently Lord of Wolves is really good for Crucible. Kill you. Kill the charge me. All right, this weapon can't really kill shoulder charge rushers because how slow the fire rate is. It's not what it's really meant for. So if we can kill bad players like that, we kind of miss all our shots, but it's okay. I want to see if I still don't know if he can actually hit someone with a headshot and then body shot them twice. Okay, that guy's just a scrub, dude. Main ingredient, really? Like, I know Future Rifles got, like, a pretty bad nerf, but still. Do you not have a primary with, like, guys always using Fusion Rifles? Don't love the game early, so why why can't I? I'm literally leaving this game early. If we do bad. If that guy with a Fusion, wow. You, if that was him, then you really suck with, like, primary, man. The fact that you can only use an actual Fusion Rifle. That says something. That says a lot about you. No! I was so confused what happened, man. I was like, wait, who killed me? It takes so long to pop that damn shield, man. Like, half the time it, like, it gets me killed. Okay, no, he's not getting that shield. Get out of here, dude. Yes, pick it up. Yes! Screw you, man. You deserve that. I know I was being like a... Playing like an a-hole, but still, you deserve that. I don't even care. Well, this weapon is definitely not a fantastic weapon, especially with these rolls. Like, I still like re re to fire hand cannons, you know what I'm saying? Let's go. Let's get that double. Come on, triple. Come on, another one. Not really... Come on. Give me that orb, I need it. Come on, give me more kill credits. Someone's shooting me from the side. Another one, let's go. Oh my goodness, I really just hate this guy. Wow, that's actually a really good chiller charge, I love it. Screw it, you're not killing me with that bow. Alright, so let's see how we did. It's probably gonna be my last game. I don't really want to play another game with this hand cannon. It's good, it's just that probably my rolls aren't that good. It's not like a top tier weapon, like whatever this guy is using. What's he using? Let's see. Before he leaves the game. Yeah, Ace of Space. Not like Ace of Space, clearly. It might not be that good because of the meta right now. And then you'd probably want to use like the other type of hand cannons. Because these kind of hand cannons aren't that viable anymore because they're not the only hand cannons that can three tap again. But you can still try them out if you have a good roll. I personally, I don't think my roll is that good. So I'd give this weapon like a six and a half, to be honest. It's okay. It might not be that good of a weapon, but it's still decent and you can still probably do good with it. Uh, but it's definitely not the meta right now. You might be able to use it with uh, a Warlock and use the Empowering Rift or like get some damage buffs with it. But with the perks I have right now, it's not that effective and I'm on a Titan so I can't really get a damage boost. Because it leaves the one shot and a lot of time I was getting the one shot, they wouldn't die. So yeah, that's the only downside with the weapon. But anyway, that's the video guys. Let me know what you guys think of this weapon. Let me know if you have this weapon and any rolls you have with it. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.